What's up, Otakus? Welcome home to Tell Me How to Talk. My name is Taylor, and today we get a little bit serious. You can tell that I'm serious because I'm not wearing a waifu shirt. YouTubers are in danger. Like, content creators are legit about to really suffer uh, in a little over a month. Because on January 1st, YouTube will be... It will be a completely different place. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been on this platform for any amount of time, you've had your, you've been part of the fair share of crisis. The last one I remember was the adpocalypse and we survived. This one is a little bit more destructive, I'd say. Like a lot of people are saying YouTube's going to definitely fall off. YouTube is going to die because of this and we can't blame anybody but youtube for that for context of you know why people are saying this in 1998 there was a law that was passed called copa c-o-p-p-a or the children's online privacy protection act pretty much what copa is is it's a law that prevents kids ages 12 and under from sharing their personal information, i.e. their name, address, email, social security number, all that kind of stuff, online with potential rapists and molesters and, ch and kidnappers. You know, those people, you know, the people on that side of the, of the uh, train tracks. Like I said, it's been a law since 98. So it's been a law. It's been around for about 20 years. YouTube, however, was like, yeah, no, we're not going to follow that. Because they're pretty much saying that, hey, our content, our platform is for 13 and up, which are not kids. So we don't have to really follow the guidelines of this law. And a bunch of child activist groups, I think last year, brought this to the FTC's attention. Who, the that's, that's the branch, the part of the, the government that, you know, dictates and defines and, and describes and, you know, enforces that law. Pretty much telling them that, hey, YouTube is has a bunch of content that's made for kids. So they need to be held accountable and they need to follow this law. Which, in hindsight, yeah. Because if you look at it, there's a lot of content that was forced toward kids. There were a lot of ads that they had on their, on their videos that were geared toward children. And the FTC looked into it. They said, all right, you're, you're definitely guilty of this. So they fined YouTube forty two thousand dollars per video, and which added up to quite a lot. It they they had to pay a hundred and seventy million dollars fine, which is which hurts the wallet a lot. But hey, YouTube brought this upon themselves. It's pretty much their fault, right? You know, you know, you read what you sow, you get what you deserve, right? But now they have to comply with the law. Now the law. It's pretty much not made for us. It's pretty not made. It's, it's not made for us. My thing, the biggest issue that I have is that they're now, the FTC is now going to start targeting us as in content creators. Like the same way they sued the YouTube, they're going to start sh suing us. And I don't know about you guys. I don't have $42,000 per video to hand out. Because my content is not made for kids. Now YouTube and all, all of its wisdom and glory. They brought out a system of saying that we, that we have to you know, comply with this law. It's the law. You're supposed to follow the law. So I have no problem with that. And so now on every single video. Every single uh, content creator, YouTuber, YouTuber, uploader. They have to verify like by law, they, they, it's not skippable. They have to verify whether or not the, the video was made for kids or not made for kids. And if, and if that's where it stopped, this would be fine. This would be absolutely fine. Because the way that, you know, a person would come to understand is that of how the law should be and how it should work is if, if, you mark your channel not safe, not made for kids. That means your demographic starts at 13 and goes on forever. Right? 
Everybody that's 12 and under cannot view your video or view your channel ever. Right? That's how that should that's how that should work until they turn the age of 13 and then verify that they're 13, then they can see everything else, right? And if you mark it safe for kids, you can you find yourself available to that graphic, that that demographic, right? That's how one would think that this is going to work, but that's not how how it's going to going to work at all. To be completely honest, this is now screwed if you do, screwed if you don't. If I do mark my channel for sake, let's use my channel for example. If I decide that my content was not made for kids, which you guys know it's not made for kids. My content is geared toward like teenagers, young adults, and older adults. That's who I make my videos for. I don't make my videos for kids. And, it, and it's reflected in my analytics. 90%, 95% of my, not even 95, like 97, 97% of my audience is between the ages of 13 and 24. With another 2% under, like from 20, 24 to I think 34 or something like that, 24 to 32, 32 around there. For the, and like less than half a percent is under 13. And another under half percent is like 65 and up. Like there's somebody's grandpa watching my videos. Hey grandpa, like my videos are not meant for children at all. You guys have seen my videos, you guys know. I curse way too much. I say way too many off the wall things. I watch way too much sexual content. I make way too many sexual innuendos on this on on in my videos on this channel for it to be considered made for kids. Now, if I mark my videos not made for kids, then according to everything that has come out so far, my videos are going to go on as they are just the same. But if YouTube and their bot, which is supposed to be smart, but we all know YouTube bots, they're not smart at all. They're really freaking dumb. So either YouTube's bot or someone from the FTC will look at my video on the surface, not like watch my videos because they're not going to watch my videos. The bots don't watch the videos and you can't, I don't expect anybody from the FTC to watch, go through all 344 of my videos that I've uploaded and say, this one's good for kids. This one's good for kids. This one's not good for kids. This one's not good for kids. I don't expect them to do that. What I expect them to do is what they're probably going to do. They're probably going to look at my channel on the surface. They're going to look at my thumbnails. They're probably going to look at my set and they're probably going to say, this is made for, this is made with kids in mind because what they're going to see is they're going to see animation. They're going to see, they're going to see toys, right? That's what they're going to see. They're going to say, this is for kids. And they're going to see that I, that I marked my channel, not for kids. And they're going to say, he's trying to get around, you know, he's trying to get around the law. He's trying to screw over the law. So then what they're, what they're going to do is they're going to find me. Now we don't, now I don't know if they're going to find me the same amount of money as YouTube because if they do that that's 42 42 grand of video multiply 42 grand by 344 looking at 14 and a half million dollars that I would have to pay and I ain't got 14 and a half million dollars I ain't even got 14 cents and that's just if I market not safe for kids and I'll buy it and someone who doesn't watch my videos just looks at it on the surface and says this is made for kids that that that's it. I'm gonna get fined. I'm I'm gonna get fined. Then, and or, not not even and or. I'm gonna get fined and terminated. So, pretty much it'll be the end of Tailor Made Otaku as you know it. And I'm gonna probably go to jail because I can't pay that. I don't know anybody on this platform that can they can they can, they can pay that because they're going off of all of our videos. So. Channels that have been around for 9, 10, 12, a, a lot of years have to go back and look at all of those videos and determine and, de and determine that. And they could be sued for each and every single one of them. Then we, then we go on the flip reverse side. Well, Taylor, why don't you mark your videos safe for kids and 
made made for kids and just move on with with life and not worried about being fined. Well, for one, I don't know because it hasn't been stated yet to my knowledge. What would happen if someone marked their videos made for kids and had non kid friendly content in that video? We don't know what's going to happen. Will it? Will we get sued or fined? I don't know. I really don't know. But here's what happens when you mark your video is made for kids. Everything that makes a channel successful is going to be taken away from you. They're going to take away comments. They're going to take away, you know, the notification bell. They're going to take take away ads. They're going to take away uh, the community the community tab. They they're going to take away um, suggestions. They're going to take away uh, my videos won't be searchable on YouTube. All that's going to be gone. And all I'm going to be left with is a like button and a subscribe button at the bottom. My info cards, my end, my end cards, they're all going to be gone. The ads are pretty much going to be gone. They're going to take away like personalized ads. Like, let's say you, like me, like personally, like I make like anime content. So maybe like an anime game may put in like, like a, like a quick ad on my videos. That's going to be gone. And they're going to pretty much going to be like generic ads that are going to be on everybody's videos they're not going to they're not going to they're they aren't really going to pay much you know you know what I you know what I'm saying so instead of making maybe $2 off of ads on a video that has a bunch a bunch of views I might get maybe 3 cents off of videos now like that's just the way it's going to it's going to be for them who are made for like pretty much it defeats the entire purpose of being on YouTube other than just making content just for the sake of making content. But even then your content can't grow and there's nothing more frustrating than putting your all into something and not getting a profit from it. And profits come in views, likes, comments, you know, subscribers, um, shares, all of that. That also counts as profit no to us because that that helps us grow but all that's gone if i market for kids that that's 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 where we are here now if it was now like i said before if it was make mark your channel for kids or not for kids and we'll go from there like everyone who's not for kids are just gonna have to say goodbye to the 12 and under demographic they're not going to be able to watch those videos right you might we might have to say goodbye to a couple ads that are geared toward children that's fine but the second you say if you market not for kids and we think it's for kids or we look at it and we say well kid well a kid might think this is, this is for them so you're, so here's a $42,000 fine for that video and every other video like it on your channel that's that's crap that's actual crap up until now to the recording of this video there hasn't been a way for us to actually like dispute this. Like if I marked my channel as not safe for kids and the FTC comes through and says, no, this is for kids. There's no way that I can get back in touch with them. that says, no, my channel is actually not watch the video. And then they can watch the video and they can see, yeah, you're not for kids. And I can say, yeah, I know. That's why I marked it. Not for kids. You know, I get it. You can't go on the honor system, but hey, if you really want to do this right, then hire a bunch of people in a bunch of different areas to review content in those areas. They can they can go through all the channels. They can watch all the videos. You can pay a minimum wage. People need jobs nowadays anyway. Why not do that? There's There are some people who are paid to sleep in zero gravity to see how it affects the body. You, you can make this a job. But, you know, with all of that, I personally think that this is going to be just like the ad apocalypse. It, it's going to be reworked, rewritten, re, 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 reworded, and everything's going to turn out better for everybody involved. 
But up until now, that hasn't happened. So that leaves me as a content creator with four options. I can either mark my channel not for kids, like like is the honest to God truth, and hope and pray that I don't get fined and terminated because someone who comes comes through and looks at my channel and they say, Yeah, that's not that's that that's definitely made for kids. Two, I can mark my channel for kids, lose everything of how my video of how my videos and my channels get you know thrive and survive and you know grow here on YouTube and I'll have to rely on my social medias to get the word out that I uploaded a video. I had to rely on Patreons and sponsors for revenue so I can keep doing this. Three I can delete everything that I have on my channel right now and start from scratch. That means new logo, new banner, new videos, all of that has to be brand new so I can mark my channel not not made for kids and not get in trouble for it. Or four, which is the one I really don't want to do, and that's just delete my channel altogether and just walk away from YouTube, period. That's the one that I really don't want to do. I don't want to do that because, it, because like I've said, I make 344 videos on YouTube period on YouTube. That's three years of work. That's three years of, you know, effort. I've grown with a beautiful community here. My discord y'all out of control, but I still love y'all. I don't go there cause one, I don't, I don't really like discord and two y'all wilding, <laughs> but I, but I love y'all though. Most of y'all have been with me for a very long time and I've grown like a relationship with you guys. Hyper Shane, Anime Palin, like Alchemist Kirito, Mega Glacion, like, like Animaniac, like all of you guys, the anime guys, like all of you, like I've met so many great people here on, on this platform because I started making content. And I don't want to give that up. I don't want to walk away from that. I don't I, like. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to disappear. I don't want a ghost. Okay, like I want to continue to do this. But YouTube and the FC in the FTC is making this very hard on us content creators. Now, what I expect is I expect like in the future, like in the very very near future, they're gonna re, they're gonna re rework this to make it to where I can survive. The kids are safe. And YouTube complies with the algorithm. And all they literally have to do is make it so where if you mark your channel, not not for kids, eight kids ages 12 and under cannot find your video. That's all they have to do. Like, I don't feel like this is rocket science and that may be a very, very simple minded way to fix this. But that's but that's how I feel. That's how I feel. There are a lot of YouTubers that are on edge. I'm on edge. My boy shooting star sheriff. He's on edge. He can't even focus at work because he's so he's so worried about this. There should be a way for for us to flourish, for kids to be safe, and YouTube to comply to these rules. Now all and and then the FTC they can just rewrite the they can rewrite the the law to make it more more pretty much just black and white. If you you if you have this, you need to work like. They need, they need to word it better and add more to make it easier for people like, like me and like Shooting Star Sheriff and like Dashy and like Corey Kinchin and Jacksepticeye, Markiplier. Make it better for, for us to make content and not have to worry about this. Basically what I'm saying, man, is something needs to change real fast, real quick. Or YouTube gonna look real different real fast. There is a petition that's going around that you can sign to get it to the FTC to get them to 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 at least to to recon, reconsider the way that they're enforcing this reconsider like everything so just let me know what you guys think about this like I know for a fact that my channel is probably going to get hit because I do anime content and they're going to see this and you know people who don't watch anime are going to think that's a cartoon you're you're this is made for kids cuz all cartoons are for kids even though there is not a single politician alive that's going to let their kids watch, watch South Park, watch Family Guy, American Dad, like The Simpsons, Rick and Morty, for God's sakes. Like, there's graphic things in cartoons. 
Sausage Party. You think they? You think any adults gonna let their kids watch Sausage Party or anything made by Seth Rogen? I'm joking. I like Seth. I I really I like Seth Rogen. He has the funniest laugh of all time. He has the best gig of all time as a as an actor. All he the only thing he has to do is be himself in movies. That that's the best thing ever. But hang on. But that ain't got nothing to do with this. Um. Yeah. Like I don't know what the future holds for my channel. I really don't. I really don't know what I'm going to do about this. I don't, I, I just don't know. So, you know, Hey, leave a comment down below. Um, while you still can, I guess, you know, what are your thoughts about this? What are some solutions that you can, that you guys might, might be able to think of like, like all that, like, like definitely, definitely. But, uh, until next time I, until next time you guys see my face. Have a good, have, have a, have a fun, have a fun life.